I thought it was all over. First thing in the morning. First morning. Coming right up the trail. Right to me. Big body deer. I could tell it was a buck right off the bat. I thought it was Brute. Brutus. Coming right to me. That got the old adrenaline pumping. And then as he... I mean, he's coming right down the trail. I'm thinking, you know, this is going to be a 10-yard shot. Comes through some of that bush honeysuckle. And I could tell it was an eight. That was the deer I saw. The first night, I came and scouted. He was rubbing this tree for like five minutes. Awesome encounter. The first one, I thought that was him. I was just as jacked up as if it was, you know, any of our big bucks we've chased in the past. I've mentioned it before, but this deer is not a big antler deer. He's a brute of a deer. Big, huge body, big head. He's got an attitude, he's ultra aggressive. But he does not have a big rack. He's just your basic eight point. He may, he might touch 130. I don't care if he's 130 or 170. If he's a big buck that we are targeting, they're coming up on you like that, that adrenaline, that rush, it's, it's, uh, it's nothing like it. Anyway.
conditions are a lot different than last night once the cold front moved out. It was kind of murky this morning, but then it cleared up, and now it's been it's pretty much sunny and uh, still about the same temperature in the low 50s all day long. It's been beautiful. Winds died down, but we still got a good northwest wind. So we're back in the same spot, hoping to have another good night. Last night, at last light, before we got out, we weren't able to get them on camera, but we had a couple of our good three-year-olds come out into this uh, cut cornfield and nudge some does around and whatnot. And then John checked with two cameras before climbing up here. One of them is on a scrape uh, inside this draw. The other one is on a scrape right here below the tree. Right after we left last night, Brutus cruised by. He came by the uh, the scrape in the draw at 7.37. Literally probably 20, 25 minutes after we left. Got a video of him right here below this tree, below this stand. A little bit after midnight, so um, yeah, he was right here shortly after we left, and then lingered and probably nudged some does around and stuff out here further into the night. Hopefully, we can get an eye on a good buck with decent light tonight, so we can get some footage and uh, be really nice if we could see Brutus. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 